I don't believe anyone requires an introduction to Mike Brewer. He co-hosted the show Wheeler Dealers with Anstead and Ed China, even with the cast changing frequently. Throughout the show, Mike remains the sole constant. Are you as intrigued as I am about delving into his car collection or learning about his current activities? Watch this video until the end to discover all about it. In October 2003, Mike received a career-changing offer for a TV show on Discovery Channel. No one foresaw the impact it would have on his career. Wheeler Dealers was initially launched with Mike Brewer and Ed China as hosts, becoming a massive hit. This dynamic duo received a ton of love, prompting the show to release its spin-off in 2013, titled Wheeler Dealers Trading Up. In the spin-off, we witnessed Mike traveling worldwide to buy and sell numerous cars. However, in its 13th season, Ed China left the show, leaving viewers confused and unhappy. Later, Ed China revealed he had quit due to dissatisfaction with the show's pattern. Viewers did not react well to the news and began sending death threats to Mike and his family. Despite the controversies, Mike persevered, continuing the show with his best efforts. In 2017, Ant Anstead began co-hosting the show with Mike Brewer. Although it seemed almost impossible for viewers to embrace Ant, they did. The bromance between Ant and Mike heightened viewers' interest, and the highest TRPs of the show were during their co-hosting. Unfortunately, even this duo did not last very long. After three years, Wheeler Dealer's production decided to return to the UK, and Anstead was not prepared for this change. He did not want to leave California because he was sharing custody of his child with his ex-wife. Viewers certainly did not anticipate this development. Even after losing his best friend, Mike continued the show. He has been a part of the same show for 20 years and now hosts a show with Mark Elvis Priestley. Regarding his personal life, Mike is well organized. He has been happily married to Michelle since 1992 and they have built a beautiful family of three with a daughter. Wheeler's Dealers isn't the only show that Mike appears on. He has been a part of many shows, including Deals on Wheels, Pulling Over, Driven, Auto Trader, and The World's Greatest Cars. Besides these endeavors, Mike is also renowned for one more thing. Can you guess it? If your answer was his car collection, you're correct. It is a significant curiosity for everyone, what does a veteran car dealer keep in his garage? The first thing in his garage is a Ford Ranger Raptor, which Mike considers his fantastic tool. This makes sense because he has moved houses and businesses. Following the Ranger Raptor is the Land Rover Defender, which he primarily uses to navigate bumpy and muddy roads in the countryside. Another gem in his garage is the 1982 Porsche he acquired from an American airline pilot. It began as an SC, but after extensive modifications, he crafted a unique car. While it may not be a 964, it bears a striking resemblance. He has owned this car for about four to five years now. Next, we have the SC Resto Mod Porsche 912E. This beauty, a 1976 model, features a flat four injection, 86 PHP, and a 95 gearbox. Moving on, there's the Porsche 928, a 1979 model with a 5L V8 and automatic 240 bhp. The subsequent car in his garage is a 1959 MGA with an MGB 1.8 engine, twin SU carbs, and approximately 100 bhp. Then there's the MK1 Ford Transit with the ex-German fire service converted RHD and 1.7L V4. Though these might sound like a lot, he has much more in his garage. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button to ensure you get all such videos.